the different genetic and chromosomal influences on health now coming out of this American Association for Cancer Research meeting here in Orlando. Edward Nelson, you've been looking at chromosomes, you've been looking at telomeres, and you've been looking at psychological aspects, stress, for example. First of all, why were you interested in stress and cancer and telomeres, and how do they all fit together? We've been interested in the role of, of chronic stress and the biological consequences thereof, and how that influences uh, both uh, our cancer patients' capacity to, to handle their disease and, and how uh, improvement in quality of life, improvement of their capacity to handle the intrinsic stresses of having cancer and, the, and being treated for cancer, how we might uh, modulate that in a way to improve outcomes of, of our patients. Now, how do you define stress and why did you think it's really important for doctors to start to think in terms of stress and their cancer patients? Well, I think that there are some populations, uh, for example, the population that we study, which are cervical cancer patients, who are, uh, it is well known that they are profoundly disrupted in their quality of life. The, the disease itself and the treatment is, uh, creates a multitude of physiologic problems. Uh, it has issues of reprodu reproduction. Uh, there's a social stigmatization and social disengagement b uh, by these women. And so there's, they are uh, dramatically affected in terms of their quality of life. And so when one thinks about the overall care of a patient, it's not just doing your surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, but it's also trying to allow these women to, and, and our patients as a whole, to live good quality lives uh, for, for the remainder after, after their treatment. So we've, we've been interested not just in how to, to make that happen, but also what is the mechanism by which that might manifest itself in, in an improved clinical outcome. And you've got an important factor here because you're looking at telomeres. Can you remind me what exactly they are in relation to the chromosome and why they might be important? So telomeres are the, the protective caps to chromosomes. Uh, uh, Dr. Blackburn refers to them as, as the applets on the, on the shoestring. Uh, but, but they fundamentally keep the chromosomes from fusing together or from rearranging. And if they are too short, you get a chromosomal crisis. That crisis can lead then either to the cell committing suicide or to a transformative event, which then goes on to, of course, to uh, develop cancer or have the potential to develop cancer. So in general, longer telomeres are better. Uh, if they get too short, that's a bad thing. And so- And you were measuring these in your cervical cancer patients? So we were measuring the telomere length in peripheral blood mononuclear cells in cancer, uh, cervical cancer survivors, yes. What did you find? So this, our study was, uh, if you will, a, a retrospective study uh, uh, of a, a randomized trial where we had a psychosocial counseling intervention for these cervical cancer uh, survivors, where we had already demonstrated that the intervention could improve their quality of life and could modulate stress-associated biomarkers uh, amongst those uh, were a change in immunological stance. So under chronic stress conditions, individuals have a shift in their immunological stance to a more Th2 prominent immune stance. And so we hypothesized that if we improve their uh, stress response uh, and their quality of life, that then that shift might come back a little bit and we would see a more prominent Th1 component. And in fact, that's what we saw in the initial study. We then became aware of the work of uh, Dr. Zappel and Blackburn that showed there was an accelerated shortening of telomeres in individuals who were chronically stressed, and these were in non-cancer patients. So our question then was, we have a population where we think we have modulated their stress response by modulating the biomarkers, would we also then modulate the telomere, the accelerated telomere shortening that had been described for other chronically stressed populations. And, and did it? It did. So in those individuals who had uh, uh, decreasing levels of psychological distress, uh, they had an increase in their telomere length. That was uh, predominantly from the CD3 positive T cell component. It was associated with a shift in the Th1 uh, uh, component and prominence of the immunological stance. 
And so it sort of ties together nicely with, the, with our other studies. It does all tie together very nicely. This was, of course, a small group. I think Absolutely. 31 women, is that right? Yeah, yeah, 31 women. And because of the, we utilized a, a methodology called flow fish. Uh, for measuring telomeres, and that gives us a relative telomere length. But it, it is a flow cytometry technology and methodology, and so there is some uh, variability. And so in our hands,